This video will introduce you to the Vericut user interface and the basics of running a Vericut simulation. Here we have a Vericut project open with the project tree displayed. The VMC has been configured and the job specific data is already set up and now we can process the NC program. This Vericut project has been saved with two views displayed. A workpiece view which displays the workpiece and the material removal that occurs on it and the machine cut stock view which displays the CNC machine and the material removal on the workpiece. When you make a view active, the view cube displays. The cube tracks the rotation of the view that is currently active. The cube itself uses the faces, edges and corners as hotspots allowing you to quickly adjust your machine or workpiece view. The views can also be manipulated by using the dynamic mouse controls to rotate, zoom, and pan. So when you rotate the view, the cube updates, and vice versa. Through the use of dockable panels, you can personalize the Vericut desktop to match the process by which you use Vericut's many features, as well as incorporating your own personal preferences. For more information on using the ViewCube or the Vericut docking system, see the videos on the welcome screen. Now we simply select the play button and Vericut will process and simulate your NC program. Vericut provides error, warning, and informational messages to assist you during the simulation. These messages are displayed in the message area called the Vericut logger. We can easily speed up the simulation or slow it down to better see what is occurring on the CNC machine. And that's it. For more information on the features you have seen here, see the Vericut Help, or for a step-by-step -step training session, see the Vericut Welcome screen.